Okay, and the recording is back on. Probably should have done that a few seconds earlier. <laughs> Best played with a gamepad. Dig, dig, dig. Oh, sensitivity warning. Uh, yeah, ahoy everyone who may be watching uh, now or later. I'll, I'm Captain Hillian. Uh, Drakir is currently stepped away. I, I, I'm, I'm here. Yeah, I'm back already. I, I, I just didn't want to interrupt you. Okay. Uh, yeah, we just finished. <laughs> we just finished off. Uh, Market and Ninja Remastered by playing its uh, Do Sans Tail DLC, which Drakir uh, was really freaking accurate in guessing would take only 40 minutes. Yeah. Like, I, I thought it'd be like an hour or something, but nope. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those, I was unsure if it was a false memory or not, and I'm still wondering where did I get the 40 minutes from? So either we did it, but we didn't offer due to you looking up how long it was and decided it was not worth it. <laughs> or something. Yeah. Either way, though, that means we have a bit over two hours for, well, SteamWorld Dig 2. Which, well, of course, is the sequel to Steam Dig, uh, Steam World Dig. I almost said Steam Dig World. <laughs> Steam World Dig 1, where we played as Rusty, who went missing at the end of the game. So, yeah, I think you can guess who we'll be playing as instead. It belongs to King? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go with normal difficulty. Oh, dear. The heck? Uh, yeah, the graphics have seen quite a bump, huh? Missing. Rusty, yeah. quiet type, height, one tile, contact Dorothy McCrank. <laughs> Where have you gone, Rusty? And, yeah. Uh, there was something I said about Steamboat Dig uh, 1 when we last streamed it. There was, I, I mistakenly said it was the first Steamworld game. It was actually the second. Apparently there was a, a, a tower defense game before it. Okay. Yeah, I definitely say uh, the developers really had gone deep into the world building. Yeah. Also, we're heading for El Machino. Oh, from no. Tumbleton, and yeah, we ac <laughs> we actually saw a uh, a sign pointing towards El Machino in the first in the previous game. <laughs> so they just expanded on the. Uh... Oh, hello. They just expanded on the uh, on just a joke that they had in that. Yeah, uh, I should always say this. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Pussing Boots this series, so... <sighs> Eternal Life for five bucks. Yes. Snake Oil. Uh. Okay. Uh. Okay, unstable grounds. Ow. Scrap cost... <laughs> Darn it, my light broke. Light! Get this. Well, what is this place? I'll have to explore it to find another way out. Okay. In your defense, I can understand why you said legacy of light sense. I, I, you I thought I said light. To... My, my yeah. light, but oh well, close enough. Yeah, but I can say this. I can say what you bring dirt sense. You would expect it to break the leg from the, that fall. Yeah. Okay. Now, I have played through this game before. Uh, actually, let me check this. Let me also... <laughs> I probably should change over the stream information to this. Uh, Steam World Dig 2. I do that. I gotta grab my food. I should have done this while we... <laughs> I should have done this while we were swapping over. Uh, okay. Steam World Dig 2. Done. Okay. Uh... Remove the first playthrough uh, tag. I'd forgotten to remove that. Okay. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have played through this game before. 
And I do remember the broad strokes of the story, but not the finer details. Uh, button. Okay, button that activates trap. Okay. All sorts of plants and such. Oop. Best to re avoid the crumbling blocks. Okay. Oop. Okay. <laughs> Falling blocks that go a lot deeper than the rocks from the previous game. Okay. Yeah, best to not mess with those too much. Anything off to the side here? Because I thought there were a lot of stuff hidden in the sides in the, pre in the previous game, but no, there was a, I w that was this game that I was thinking of. An upgrade cog. Okay. Okay, button that opens that, but only temporarily. Another trap. And hello. Sprint hydraulics. Okay, now, well, we can run. <laughs> okay. What? Captain? What? Found an upgrade in, well, another ancient machine. Though this one looks a lot less like the type that the Volt bots left behind. Or oh. set up. Can you put the... From the sound that you broke the entire temple already. Nope. Looks like someone else did that for us. <laughs> or time, because, well, that tends to be the great enemy of all of these ancient uh, structures. Okay. Now we're back up here. Now we can use I mean, sprint I mean, jumping to get out. The animation is very smooth. Yep. Okay. Yeah, if we'd gone here, that would have shot right in front of our face if we didn't have the sprint ability. Okay. Is anything down here? But yeah, we're we're basically looking around for Rusty. Who, well, at the end of the last game was, well, considered, yeah, uh, was uh, declared legally dead since he'd been missing for at least a month. But Dorothy ain't buying it. Oop. Oh, glorious guiding lights, please shine on me. Yes, you may bask in my destructive glow. <laughs> Blessings, wonderful rapture awaits. <laughs> One shot. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on here? Sweet, another pilgrim. But I'm not a... Get ready to be zapped, pew pew. Okay, um... let's not. Oops. Oh, it overloaded. Yep, ow. Oh, that actually didn't damage. Okay, all those splashing lights must be giving you quite the headache. Let, let me uh, relieve that for you. Yep. And there we go. We're not even in town, we've already dealt with some sort of cult leader. It's <laughs> one more to finish it off. I forgot to move back towards the chat with OBS. Hey, was, I was just about to light you up, you crazy cultist. I tried to tell you I'm not a cultist. Really? You bots all look the same to me. You look like some sort of Vectron sprite. 
How is that possible? Our friend Frosty destroyed Vectron before he went missing. This cult stole me and plugged me in here to be worshipped. They wanted me to zap them. <laughs> hmm. I can't do that without my cool totem, though. So what are we going to do now? Well, I'm going up to the big city. I heard that Rusty had been seen there. To the city, you say? Alright, if you insist, I suppose I can come with you. Okay, what are you doing? Get out of my furnace! What, and float around here all bored and alone? <laughs> Your furnace is warm and comfy and pestering you is fun! <laughs> Darn it, I don't have time for this. I need to get out of here. <laughs> Sounds like you need my help after all. I've already scanned this area, and I guess I can let you use my map. Now let's get out of this place. <sighs> well, alright, come on then. Okay, this sounds like the start of a terrible uh, relationship. Her furnace. Yep, they are they are all steam bots. Ow. Okay, fall damage confirmed. Yeah, no, just. I feel like that can be taken out of context. Yeah. Oh, uh, what's this? So this is what the surface looks like. It's bright. Hey, your map is great. Could you use it to locate someone? Not even if I cared. You remind me of those nasty fen lights from my father's stories of the old country. I'll just call you Fen for short. I'm Dorothy, but my friends call me Dot. Dot Fen? Is, is that like a domain type name or something? Or like a site type name? <laughs> hmm. What? Yeah, whatever. You... I'm going back into your furnace town. <laughs> Go ahead. You don't know what a fen is? Yeah, I... The, the geographical... Uh, yeah, area-ish? I do know that, but I... I I'm, yeah, I'm thinking if it might be like a website thing as well or something. Like... Dub, like YouTube.fen or something, if that is like in some region a thing. No Anyways. idea, but I don't mean think they suspect they mean like uh, their version of a will of wisp. Okay. Uh, let's see. Wake me up if something interesting happens. <laughs> okay. Yep. El Machino vibrating with opportunities and adventure. Vote Yonker. Really? Again? Context? Okay, there's one of those boxes there, but no way to get it yet. Okay, if there's something I... Rem if there is one thing I remember about this game is that it is a lot more... Uh, maybe not a lot more, but it is more Metroidvania-like. As in, there will be stuff that we can go back to... Uh, that we'll need to come back to later with later upgrades. So there's someone in here. Why, if it isn't young Dorothy McCrank. Where the Carson? I didn't think I'd meet anyone I knew yeah, this far from home. Say, what's been going on in the little Tumbleton of yours? I've heard I've heard all sorts of rumors. Yep. Let's see what she has to say. It all started when Rusty arrived, digging riches out of the mine and helping our town to prosper. But then he found some strange technology down there. He fused with it and it made him stronger. Come on, get to the good stuff already. Uh, would you want to voice him, Ben? I mean, uh, uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you learned your lesson after last time. I'm a bit unsure how I would do that voice without uh, wrecking my throat. You could just do a normal voice. <laughs> Anyways. Well, the source of that mysterious power turned out to be dangerous to us all. He fought it and saved us, but after the fight he disappeared. I've been trying to find him ever since. A traveler saw the posters I'd put up and told me Rusty had been seen entering the mine in El Machino. Okay. This is ex explaining what happened between games. Always nice when that happens. Yep, that's quite a story. 
Now, the lift up to town is broken, so we'll have to climb the cliff to get up there. I'll be up there shortly myself. Come by if you want to buy some upgrade cogs to better handle that that, that there mine. Um, okay. I think the friend we had trouble climbing. Yeah. <laughs> Lady Botherly. That earthquake made the elevator come crashing down. Okay, so not just unstable ground, but earth outright earthquakes. Ooh, did, <laughs> did someone get crushed? Why I never? What sort of a terrible thing are you? I have another thing. If I still had my totem, I'd zap you right now. Well, whatever you are, you need to mind your manners. Excuses, ma'am. Finn hasn't really learned people skills yet. <laughs> oh, shit. I will like Bodily's design, but also dislike at the same time. It, it mimics those ultra poofy dresses and it does make them look like a bottle so the name fits yeah but the furnace port is also put there oh wow what a view why don't you take a closer look yeah you have to come closer closer <laughs> yeah, i might have nice a try. voice they work I may okay. have a voice if they work. Uh, All right. It, 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 I, I try it now to, to give an example. Uh, let's see here. Come closer. It, no. <laughs> Why did, not? That was not <laughs> <Just> my. <laughs> immediately defaulting to Scottish Irish, huh? <laughs> Damn it. Uh. Okay, Mayor Mick Yonder. Hey there, I keep calm, people. <laughs> Professor Sherman. Well, actually, these earthquakes are something to worry about. I've already, I've, I've, I have already told you my seismometer is getting some really strange readings. There are more important things to worry about. This is keeping you flowing. You idiots. Come on, Yonker. Why don't you listen to the experts? Ah, oh, please. These experts with their facts, they're missing the big picture. I guess we can all see where this is going. And what about that red scar of mine that never made it back up? I already hired a guard to prevent more unprepared bots from disappearing. Now, let's all keep our heads cool and just remind ourselves that the mayor's office is not to blame here. Idiot. Red Scarf Miner? It must be rusty. Finally a promising lead. Uh, think. You wanna try I think again? That golden one was arguing with his old mother. Yeah, well, Mayor Yonker and Ma Yonker, yeah. <laughs> and he did call her uh, mom. Yeah. Okay, I definitely forgotten all of these personalities that hang around here. Hmm. You want to try the voice again, or shall I just keep doing it? I will, tr I will try it. Ah! Why I not do that accent again? I... <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna drink some water first. <laughs> I'm still expecting just spontaneous Scottish slash Irish. Okay, uh, not my intention, but I missed on my computer's uh, glass screen. <laughs> Wait, so, so I actually made you do a spit take? Uh, I think the more of I end up made uh, water was on my mustache fly out. But it wasn't <laughs> on top of the computer, like this one. It was a tiny bit on the glass screen there, nothing like that, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically, I had my water glass between me and the computer at the moment, due to for... Otherwise, it would be on the other side. Make me always hit the keyboard whenever I reach it. So yeah, I was turned away <laughs> to drink, and he made me laugh. <laughs> okay. 
god. But it would have made hell of actually. <clears throat> I think this hit F Prince, I was promising. <laughs> Almost had it! <laughs> now you're going with Igor on, on helium. I'm sort of eagle like, but went Scottish again at the end. McEagle. Uh, I think it's my own accent. I think my own accent may have something to do with it. That it makes it easier for me to do like Scottish and Irish. It may explain why the heck when all the speech here we talk to say I, I sound uh, Scottish or Irish. But when I talk to everyone else, they say I sound Swedish. Okay, try again. <clears throat> I think uh, like a bit of oh, love of all. You can just read it out without doing a voice. But what's the point of that? Nothing like a bit of chaos to live up an adventure. Better. I need to talk to the mayor about entering that mine. Okay, and yeah, we are already seeing quite a few uh, different designs with the bots, huh? Uh, bloody yet. heck! <laughs> yeah, they've been creative! Barnacle Jones. You know, Mayor Yonker may be a chump, but he's right this time. We need to keep that aura flowing. I heard, <clears throat> I heard he's fretting so much about it his hair started to rust, see? Now me, I'll always take any ore off of the uh, off of minus clamps, whatever the circumstances. Okay. Now, Yonker, a worthless son of mine has no idea what he's doing. We need competent folk down below looking into what's causing these dang earthquakes. I know what a tectonic plate feels like when it's moving. By thunder, it, it ain't this ain't it, dearie. You are Turtle Bucket. Okay. <laughs> That's a name. <laughs> um, I don't want to be a bother, but these earthquakes are a bit scary. But um, if it really is a problem, I guess the mayor would be more worried. Hello there. Davy Bittenborough. Think about that name, Kill, and you will see the pun. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a pun on that uh, British narrator who was like in his 80s or something with all the nature documentaries, but I'm completely... David Attenborough. David... Yeah, Attenborough. <laughs> <clears throat> My word, these earthquakes are troublesome. I mean, I really must be have someone look into this. What if all the wonderful treasures down there get crushed? Perish the thought. So I guess you really like precious stones? No, 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 I'm speaking of real treasures, fascinating and strange artifacts. Something splendid, with its own marvelous tale to tell. If you happen to find any such artifacts, it would be lovely if you could let me have a look at them. Right, I'll keep an eye open for anything interesting. Splendid, I shall give you a blueprint if you bring me at least one artifact. Laughing Skull Casino... Okay, and who are you? Penny Kettlebottom. Oh my, oh my, that was a very big earthquake. Uh, really? <laughs> yep. But they need... Uh, they probably need to let the waste go somewhere. Hey now, I'm late for my polish. If, you're, if you've got complaints, leave them at my office. And if it's about the quakes, don't bother. Some shaking is just normal in these parts. I'm not here to complain. I just need access to the mine to search for a lost bot. <laughs> what I need is to get the mine running again. You don't even have a proper light. You're just as likely to get lost yourself, and I can't afford that. It's not this close to an election. Okay, tell you what. There is a safer area to dig in. Just to the left of the ladder down in the mine. If you can dig up ore to buy yourself a new light, the guard will let you enter the real mine. Also, really? Nail polish? Uh. <clears throat> oh, bloody heck, my phone is like 
Yeah. Sorry, first to the captain, Amanda, clearing my throat more than usual. And yes, I have noticed that my picks up whenever I clear my throat. I've been working the mines for ages, dearie, but I've never felt anything like these earthquakes. I checked them out myself if I could, but look at me. Not much my not there, yeah, not much minor left. What happened to you? Is it hard to What the heck is it? Immediately mean? back to Scottish. <laughs> yeah, so I just keep to it. I, I want to do try to do so a bit of a almost squeaky voice, but apparently I can no longer do a squeaky voice. <laughs> apparently. Uh, uh. <clears throat> It. Nope, I gave up a lot of body parts to make all my cog gone boys. Biggest mistake of my life. Boring. Boring. <laughs> okay, bucket. Um, hello. I see you've broken your sword and your light source. I wouldn't um, wander around in the dark with all that rumbling going on. So, um, if you're heading into the mine, you better fix your light first. You can use my workbench here if you like. Okay, now we can use this. Let's see, upgrades. Okay, rock bottom lamp. Prepare the lamp to be granted entrance to into the mine. No longer broken, but that's pretty much it. Okay. And then we also have cogs. Okay. Broken lamp lights up the surroundings, consumes fuel over time, which is replenished in town. Okay, broken after a rough landing and in dire need of repair or replacement. Okay. And then we can put cogs into this. Okay. As, as we upgrade it, these become available and then we can put cogs in there to, well, upgrade them further. Increase lamp radius. Flame, uh, larger, than, larger than light. More of your time spent in flashes of light. Uh, increased lamp light radius. Flame of Kubera causes pickups to emit lights, which in turn makes them easier to discover. Better to illuminate than merely to shine. Warden reflexes. Increases the chance of you automatically dodging falling rocks or similar death traps. Okay. Oh, come on. It's a reference. Look at the flame effect, you get the reference. Yep. Flash Gordon. Oh dear. Save yourself with a mighty flash. Summoner adds a chance of spawning an extra light orb from the feet of enemies. Release their inner sun. Spotless minds. Prevents your light from dropping below 50%. Okay. That would be really useful for just staying in a mine longer. You'll never walk alone in the shadows. And Eye for Weakness. Let's you see the weak spots of walls when shining on them. You don't need no education and no thought control, just look at the wall. <laughs> okay, that's a, that's a reference to a song. <laughs> we don't need no education, no thought control. Uh, something, something, just another brick in the wall. I had to, well, fix my throat. Right. Uh, men built too many walls and not enough bridges. Okay. Uh, Penny? Gee whiz, you look like a small time bot just like me. How wonderful. I've been feeling all lonely lately, like a proper outsider. Oh. I thought it was just a whiff from the outhouse, but yeah, it's, it's that outsider smell, alright? The glowing sparky thing is right. I'm not really a card for big city life. If you try to be a little that a little nice for a change fan, you might like it. I doubt it. Oh, in Attenborough, Wittenborough. Well, you see, I've not found any any of them. You, I see you have not found any fascinating artifacts yet. Nice. Okay, so yeah, we. I'm going to presume that we can chat. With, yeah, they'll have something new to say each time. But and uh -oh. there's the guard bot. Coral Armstrong. Hold it right there, young miss. I can't let you dig here without a proper light source. I just want to go down and look for my friends. What if I just took a quick peek? Yes, let her take a look. 
Should we probably make it up? Uh, should we pull and make it back up? There we go. I reckon we've already lost one too many miners down there. It's too dangerous guessing your way in the dark. How about you dig for ore in the well-lit area over there instead? Yeah. Okay, so the cactuses will pop after we hit them. Okay. Oh, and those things are back. Okay, now it shows their progress Ooh. of digging out, but they also they also just do it on their own, not they, just from us mining. They look more dangerous than before. Okay. okay, and we get experience now. Okay, so good reason to go after them then. Okay, they don't walk over ledges. Yep, yep. But they will charge us if they see us. Okay, noted. That's that's four uh, trashium. But they're not get totally noted. Okay, I like that it keeps track of how much we have to how much we need. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it will. There's much more here. Uh, yeah, let's just grab them just for the sake of it. Uh. There. Okay. Just gotta turn that in to uh, mm. Mr. Krabs here. Okay. Hey, trash him. Say, the towns are whispering about the fact that we found a fresh bot to work the mine. And I'm actually here looking for a friend of mine. Quiet type, wears a red scarf. I know the bots. Looked like the real McCoy, but boy was he a flat tire. Didn't come back up even once, see? I hope you'll do a better job, kid. Okay, so Rusty was indeed here but just vanish down the mine immediately. If you're planning on going deep down, you'd better fix that light. Is the mine really that dangerous? Well, there are some nasty crawlers, but at least I haven't seen any flipping shiners in a while. My older boys have been patching the walls to keep those fleshy bipeds out. I was a young girl bot when the shiner earth ended, but I still remember the bad parts. Anyway, it's always best to be prepared down there, dearie. Yeah. We have heard about the Shiner Wars before, or at least a war. But I don't know if anything much is ever really told about that. That's Iron Pickaxe, Shrew Hide Pack, and Miner's Bright. And it's uh, a Miner's Basic Tool. The maiming of the shrew is a delicate operation, so there aren't many of them around anymore. More economic when it comes to burn time. Okay, then there's a bunch of map and sprint hydraulics. If we could only be faster, then we could outsmart, you know, outsmart time. And all you need is the plan, the roadmap, and the courage to press on to your destination. Okay. At least one of those tools is probably going to be a drill. Um, I like your boots. Yeah, they got enhanced in some machine down below the desert. The extra um, sprint hydraulics probably make, make made them really, really fast. Those equipment machines down in the mining stations are pretty cool, right? How so? Oh, um, alright. Well, they can be found all over the mines. They're very, very old. We don't really know who built them, but they work fine for our kind. Over the years, the miner bots have set up mining stations around the machines. We know where a few of them are, but the, the mines are much, much bigger than just the part that's worked on. I've read about other stations with cool equipment lost in deeper, unmapped parts of the mine. Okay. Are you swear or something? Hmm? What if the first game, the Tower Defense one, 
is the Shiny Wars. That could actually be the case, yeah. I'll have to look into that. Yeah, it, I could be wrong. Is that three years from now? And don't you dare say it! It's a Steam theory. I didn't say it. Uh, looks like you're all about ready to dig. So you let me go deeper into the mine now? Sure, just show me you can light the lantern over there and I'll open the hatches. Mm. About time someone started mining these tunnels again. Finally I'm, the, I'm, the, yeah, finally I'm on the right track to find Rusty. I reckon your compadre had to pass through Red Rock Passage one time or another. Normally you could use the pneumatic tube system to get there and back. Clogged up during an earthquake though, it'd be smart to clear it out first. Now how about I just open these hatches and let you down there. Here we go. Just one last thing, miss. You're about to explore a large and hazardous world down there. If you'd like to keep track of where you're heading, you can use these markers on your map. Uh, how do they work? You may have noticed some blue arrows and crosshairs on your map. Not using markers could be called a more classic experience, I reckon. Whether that's a good thing or not... Now, don't you fret. You can always tell with the markers on or off using the cog, uh, uh, <coughs> using the cog mods tab at the uh, workbench. So what do you say? You reckon you'd like to use markers? Then uh, let's go use them. I reckon that's, what a, uh, that's the son of a wise bot. If you want to, you can always toggle the markers off, uh, on or off at the workbench up in town. Now I won't keep you any longer. Good luck clearing the tubes out in Red Rock Passage. Okay, so that, that helps explain the... Uh, well, that helps explain the pneumatic tube system. It was already put in place, it's just that... Well, it got clogged up. It didn't yeah. really get much of an explanation in the first game. I just saw the course said Entering a rock cranny or something. There's gonna be spiders down here, that ain't it. Well, these things probably count as arachnids. Uh, yeah. It's hard to count the legs when you kill them. Okay, so those won't break these blocks. Let's see, is that the safe area over there? Yes, it is. Okay. It'll probably be a good idea for me to just dig down a few levels each time, then spread out. Oh, didn't even see that one there. And just look for useful stuff in the corners. Okay, so they can break a block like that. Level up, improved cell bonus. Okay. Only six legs. Okay. So they're not arachnids. Yeah, for arachnids it needs to be specifically eight legs. Indeed. Three hits. Okay, and our lamp is already almost out, so let's go refill that. Okay, and hand in what little we have. So you found a few rocks you want to trade for some moolah. Thank you. Moolah. So I'm guessing you heard about them clock twos. Now I ain't one to gossip, but from what I've heard, the mayor closed them you know, to get back at his minor boss brothers. Speaking of which, I haven't seen those saps in a while. I was hoping they'd step up their game now that you uh, that you've you know, brought some competition. Should've known better than to expect hard work from them dude droppers. Anyway, having the tubes closed is causing me a lot of mazumas. See, mazumas. That's a new one. Hey, it's great to have someone bringing down the war up at a steady pace again. Well, except for a few run-ins with some nasty critters, I'm making progress. 
It's just like I told everyone. They're getting all worked up over nothing. And I'll head back to Ro Red Rock Passage to see if I can get that tube working. Just don't stop bringing that pressure sword up to the surface. And spend your earnings at some of these down at the city yeah, at the city's establishments. Jackass. Hmm. Has anyone been down to Red Rock Passage lately? Not since those darn tubes stopped working, dearie. You need to pass through there if you're thinking about exploring the whole mine. I should probably clear out the tube first, though. Just be aware that the dirt gets tougher further down, so you'll need to keep your gear in shape. Yeah, it'll, we'll want to upgrade our gear wherever possible. That's... We need yeah, 8, 20, or 25 to get an upgrade, and well, we do not have that. But yeah, the further down we go, the more valuable things we'll also find. I think you, you might be able to afford a better bag. Uh, though I have five dollars, as you can oh. see on the upper right. Mm. Yeah, the pickaxe yeah. is the one we'll want first. I'll try to have a bit of a main shaft going down to make it easier to get back up and such. Blood drops? Okay. Let's see, that's six dollars total, so we could get the backpack upgrades. But let's aim for the let's aim for the pickaxe first. Yep. <laughs> that also works. We still get the experience for it. Okay. Okay. Let's still take a little bit diagonal. Can we reach across? Yes, we can. Okay. Hmm. That, that's probably Trashium, so I think I'll skip it. I'll still think... I'll still dig sideways here. Just to see if there is anything of value around. There's a lamp, so... We can light that up. Okay, I thought it was actually going to be a bit too late, but nope. There's, there's something there. For it. Lord of Banana Fly! <laughs> something over here. Nope. It's getting dark. I can hardly see a thing, and I'm all, and I'm made of light. Go up town. Go up to town, and I. Oh, for love of. Go up to town and replenish your lamps so I don't get lost down here. Okay. There first, we go. Let's check. Patch wall grotto. Okay, we can't wall jump off of these. We can. We can wall jump here. Anything hidden? Yep. Secret area. And hello. Amulet of Ball Adilia. I have no idea how to even try and say that. An upgrade cog. And a light refill. Okay. Ar Archaea. I think that's just. I think that's just supposed to mean like a. Yeah. Mesa is area or something. Ah! It's not, it's not sorry, Arachne or earlier. something. Alright, then I misread as you just split up so quickly. Yeah. Okay, let's grab these. Mm. Mm. 
What's that green stuff again? Uh, something we can't pick up at the moment because we don't have the room. Uh, let's see. Uh, four, ten, twelve. Yeah, this won't be enough. Okay, yeah, seventeen. That's we could get a bigger bag. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, if we do that, then we can carry more loot, and it only costs. It yeah, only eight bucks. Yeah, let's yeah. check out these. Um, so okay, we need to upgrade the lamp one more time. Yeah, <laughs> normally I may usually go for a better tool, but if I say the bag upgrade is much cheaper than the tool, then yeah, that would obviously take the bag upgrade, and easier to get the money for the tool then. Yeah. Let's see. Reaper's discount makes you lose less resources when you die. Don't fear the Reaper. Cash on disposal. Discarding a resource grants you a share of its monetized value. No place to be ending that. Uh, no place to be ending, but somewhere to start. Dual depot. Let's you store two gems per slot. Du dual depot. A small space with big benefits. Portal of Pardon lets you in lets you return to El Machino instantly without losing any resources. Activate this ability in the System tab. Disabled in caves and when you are in danger. The ability icon shows when it can be used. You can keep what's yours. But that would be really useful. <laughs> Double Rainbow adds a chance to get two resources out of a single resource tile. <laughs> That's so intense. Magnetic Separator. Pulls exposed resources towards you. Accio stuff. What? And hope. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Harry Potter reference. <clears throat> oh. Uh, Hobo King. Gives instant cash when you collect low value resources. The lower the value, the more money you gain. Does nothing for resources above $7. It's like in the great stories Mr. Hobo, the one that, re uh, that, that are really tattered. Okay, that's a reference I'm not getting then, I think. Yeah. And um, we'll check the pickaxe upgrades later. And the drum stuffing? There. Barrel? Worth 10 bucks. Okay. That's 13 already. Okay. Let me grab this. Some more trash in. There's another bug. There are two bugs. Oh, they, they, they can apparently damage each other. That's Kinda makes sense. It has a side area. Okay, I can light that up. Grab this. Hopper. Okay. Hmm. This music reminds me a bit of uh, Sang Freud. Bless you. No. <laughs> I know what you mean. Okay, let's grab this stuff, what we can. And yeah, this is a side area. Those weren't in the ma in the uh, in the first game. Ow. Okay, that can only be broken from the other side. More trash him. We don't have the space for it. Copper. Nope. Instead of a small chain reaction of the stupid cacti. Okay, the ones hanging from the ceiling will basically shoot out like a shotgun. Wait, okay. wait what do you call them? Cacti. Do you call it? It's only you call it sewer cacti. No. 
Oh, that's what we saw them. The music changes when we uh, run out of flame. Okay. Yeah, that's enough for the pickaxe. Okay. Let's go grab that. <clears throat> Hunter's Edge. Let's see. Barter grip pickaxe. A modest but sturdy companion. The bag of holding. It's in the name, really. Okay, let's get the lamp next then. Yeah. Seems like I was right uh, that it was a good idea to get the backpack update first. Let's see. Hunter's Edge. Gives plus five extra experience from enemies defeated with the pickaxe. If the hunter comes back with mushrooms, don't ask him how this hunt was. <laughs> because it didn't go well. And okay, we can install and we can. Yeah. As long as we have enough hogs, we can just put these in and remove them again. Uh, we can just simply swap between buying upgrades and the cog mods with the shoulder buttons. <clears throat> resource roughhouse. Deals extra damage to resource tiles. It's either my way or the tile way. Bounty Hunter nets you a cash prize for taking out enemies with the pickaxe. Some are in it for the money, some for the hunt. Total Recoil, pushes enemies further back on impact. Hasta la vista, baby, yeah. Total Recall. Healer, adds a chance of spawning an extra hearth orb from enemies defeated with the pickaxe. When I get this feeling, I need sectional healing. <laughs> okay. Return to Sender, allows you to hit projectiles in midair to flip their direction. A hands-on twist of fate. Mid-Tile Express refines aerodynamics to speed up the old swing. It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Uh, I didn't expect an almost watching it uh, at all on that. I cannot, I don't dare to say his last name for I feel like I've been mispronounced it badly. Apparently many people struggle with that last name of his. But hmm. yeah, Arnold yeah, if you look at the Arnold uh, reference with that, it says, yeah, Hasta Vista is from Terminator. But yep. he was also in the, the movie, with the recall. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, that's locked. So there must be a switch somewhere. Okay, contact damage does about half a health, the uh, half a heart of damage. Okay, what do we have here? Buster station or burster station? Nope. Ten percent cell bonus now. Okay. Hmm. Here we go. One of these again. Okay, you missed the first one. It, it, it ate her! <laughs> Pressure bomb. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, so just a little grenade. Water does not get consumed any anymore. Or at least not here. And we can throw those up as well. Okay, so that makes digging upwards a lot more of an option. Let's see. Uh, oh, we can jump to there, but let's see. Oh, we can actually swim, which you wouldn't really expect from, well, a robot. Hmm. Can we hit that? Oh, so we just got a... <laughs> we just plain have a, a, a grenade launcher for an arm now. Wait, what? Does that grenade launcher have uh, holes? Uh, for venting heat. From launching a grenade? 
Ain't that, that, that will prevent the heat thing more for, uh, you know, rapid fire weapons? Yeah, even grenades come, uh, that are fired from shells, which will. <clears throat> How do you think grenades get launched? They're basically just more explosive bullets. Yeah, just. Unless I've never seen a grenade nice launcher. I've never seen a grenade launcher or a mortar with holes like that. Like, I have seen tanks with holes, but again, not like this where it's so many of them. I see. Can we blow that up? I was half expecting it to go secret area found. Nope, oh, no, that's actually how we're supposed to go around. I guess you can say this. When I look at this barrel with this many holes, it Does doesn't it... feel like a grenade launch. It feels like uh, it's supposed to be a rapid fire weapon. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe we'll get options for rapid fire. Oh no. No. I think that's about it here. Hmm. There's one more block there that I'm seeing on the map. Uh, actually, I think that's uh, yeah, that's how we got into the main area. So it must be a regenerating block that breaks after enough time. Okay. Oh wait. Okay. Good thing I noticed the the damage on the wall there. Yeah. And yeah, also something we learned now is that these will charge off of ledges. It's another upgrade cog. Okay. And we can't dig down any deeper here. Okay. Okay, copper. Better than trash here, at least. Okay. Makes me wonder what the heck trashium is used for. Yeah, probably really basic things or such. Okay. Possibly, yeah. but still, if you have a metal named trashium, you're gonna expect it is a weapon that's not useful at all. Yeah. Okay, that's inventory full. Full that we can't really pick new things up. Do that again. Okay. One man's trash is another man's treasure. True. Okay. Could be a, that, but that might be the joke. Maybe. <clears throat> okay. Twenty-nine. Yep, you've got something to say. Wow, you found a treasure bomb launcher. That triple plunger design makes for a smooth flow through the, uh, the siphon tube. It will shoot a self-adhesive projectile that sticks to any surface before detonating. I bet it makes a big splash. <laughs> Sorry. I am got carried away. I am um, noted that your armor had some dents in it. My new shipment of thick plating will let you upgrade it. So you'll have a better chance of, you know, surviving down there. Okay, so now we can get oh now we can get a bunch more. Water tank, slow lander, hy hydro hydrostatic. Okay. Uh, let's see. Sturdy armor. Uh, sturdier than the basic tier, but still pretty basic stuff. The Melville, Melville Regulator. Brings a classic touch to aquatic technology. And, you know, slow la yeah, slow lander, hydrostatic. <clears throat> slow that pressurized destruction even further. <laughs> let's see. I actually grab get 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 the bag. Then we can just bring up more loot. 
Okay. And we found something for you. Oh, splendid. You found one fascinating artifact already. To show my, you my appreciation, I shall hand you a blueprint from my staff. You simply have to take it over to the workbench and use the card mods to put it to good use. Gaze of Odin. I will give you another blueprint if you show me three artifacts in total. Okay. Oh, what? Let's see. Where did that show up? Ah, here. Displays your enemy's health once you've damaged them. Okay, map markers. Ah, here's where we can turn them on and off. It, that's gonna sound useful. Yeah. <clears throat> it's also useful enough this early on, though. True. We do have two cards that we can use at the moment. Let's see. Mm. Cougar Paws reduces your fall damage. Catch me when I fall. Karma Plates deals damage to anyone that injures you by touch. Every rose is thorn. Bidar Boots makes you acid and lava resistant for a short while. These boots are made for walking in, in acid and lava. That could be really useful. Aramid Armor deflects the first projectile that hits you. It takes 30 seconds to recharge. I am rubber, you are glue. True survivor. When you first take little damage, instead of uh, instead regain full HP. Ability resets in town. That that would be really useful, but that's also why it would cost five cogs to use. <clears throat> yeah. Calling from the ashes, make it like a true survivor. Hmm. Is, it, is there a way to balance as well for just it, you need to go to town to reset it? Yeah. So you can't abuse it. I get the feeling that the flavor text here is a song lyric. Or at least a joke on one. <laughs> Pump up the jam. Absorb water faster from pools. Pump it up while your feet are stomping. Storm chaser. This condenser, con uh, this condenser contrapment turns light orbs into water orbs. Does not affect rainbow orbs. Light to water, water to wine, or this trick in the book. Moisture vapor Vaporator transforms moisture into flowing water, constantly replenishing your water supply. It also requires five cogs. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. <laughs> it, it still amuses me with uh, Shrek 1 in that little music video they had as an extra or at the end. I don't remember if it was just an extra on the DVDs or such, or CDs back in the day. But yeah, they had that Shrek music video and they, where they just had a bunch of characters sing uh, lines from songs and such, and they gave, well, I can see clearly now the rain has gone to the freaking blind mice, I think. Oh, come on. Uh, Molotov vaccination stops pressure bombs from hurting you. Help to stay out of harm's way, never stop vaccinating. Wet, wet, wet bomb spawns an extra water orb from tiles destroyed by pressure bombs. Water is all around. Buster shells makes your pressure bombs shatter even the harder rocks than before. Who you gonna call? Sky Asylum. Smiley, all right. The way we saw that. Yeah. Hmm. I should look at maybe streaming. Uh, there, there are a small amount of Ghostbusters games out there, I believe. One of which has is very well considered. I think I've seen playthroughs of it at least twice, but I, I might stream it if I can get my hands on it. Uh, which one? The one that uh, pressed the lock that they, uh, did be doing, or...? Yes, that one, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, sky Sim. Let's you shoot pressure bomb mid-air, so take to the skies and release your bombs from a safe distance. And I recommend you to the, uh, to the mean spirit in the sky. I think... Yeah, there's no other Ghostbusters game problem. There's a bit of a problem with others, though. Mm. Yeah, um, there, are, there are many that aren't that good, yeah. Uh, no, no, that's not the issue. You're gonna need an emulator for the Probably, entire. Yeah. Oh, the, the, from, uh, yeah, need to 8 bit, 16 bit. Yeah, I'm not thinking that old. No, no, so you're not that old. 
I think I just heard the doorbell, so mm. give me a second. All right. Okay, someone else already got to it. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so I like that we just have a, a big map that we can look around now with instead of just the mini map. Don't know if there yeah. was a full map in the, in the first game. I feel like this game is very much... It is like the first one, but improved. Yeah, much improved. And that's okay. kind of how you make, want to make a sequel. You want the sequel to feel like... Have this a similar feeling to the first game, but feel different enough, but also feel like an improvement. Yeah, and a, not just small improvements like a lot of games do these days, but big improvements like this. It's not always possible, but still, whenever it is possible and actually done well, well, you got Steamboat Dig 2. <clears throat> Bedrock Passage. Okay. Indeed. But indeed, for what the uh, Helian said, uh, that I agree with him. With the whole, uh, up, and it should feel like a uh, proper upgrade. Yeah. Is there uh, just an incremental improvement, like just adding a few small things <clears throat> or in some cases like well the FIFA games just not improving things at all this must be Red Rock Passage it's all caved in could use the bombs to clear it up and I probably shouldn't encourage your destructive streak but it's not a bad idea <clears throat> yeah explosive maybe you may even blow some of your ports off Jeez, uh, so let's, let's just try yeah, out that pneumatic tube first, all right? Just in case we I, do blow each other up. I think if we let you voice it, I don't think I can do that personality well without getting too loud. Okay. And yeah, when we break the first block on these, the rest are going to break afterwards. <laughs> Boom, let's do that again. These bombs sure will come in handy. They'll be able to reach bases my pickaxe can't. I guess I should go tell the mayor that the passage is open now. Some barrel. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we can choose where to go. Oh yeah, barrel is a gemstone, ain't it? I think so, yeah. Definitely cheat treats it like that, and we like it in here. Okay. A small amount, but still, every little bit helps. Is that enough for an upgrade? Yeah, let's upgrade the lamp. And I may as well do that. Here we go. Uh, like, so uh, you could improve it by using cogs. Do you um, want to know how? You should tell me. I'm sorry, I'll keep quiet, huh? Do you really want to know? Oh, 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 okay, okay. So, um, you can enhance your tools with cards. You may have seen a few of them around the place. Use the workbench to select the tool's card slot and insert your cards into it. But, uh, oh, but, um, don't worry, you can extract your cards just as easily. As you upgrade your tools, you'll get access to even cooler imp improvements. So, um, there's a little more I want to tell you, but if you don't want to, sure tell me. There are some enhancements that you need to find blueprints for. David Bittenborough, our um, cartographer, have, uh, has a few on hand, I think. Uh, <laughs> rare mistake. Blueprint improvements are usually pretty cool. Well, at least I think so. Oh, and since you can extract any cogs, you may want to experiment. Change your setup every now and then. I mean, if you want to. Wow, we listen to all of it. Not many do. Ah. Red Rock blew right open with one well-placed charge. Well, except for all the caves, cave-ins, it's a dang sturdy construction. I'm just glad it's still standing. You'll need to keep your gear up to snuff to handle the dirt at those depths. And hey now, be sure to bring up more of those precious stones. He's just going to be a massive pain in the ass the whole way, isn't he? 
Now that Red Rock, you know, the Red Rock Passage is open, I can look for Rusty deeper down. Hey, the buff's still missing? Well, just don't forget to bring some of that valuable ore up with you now. It should be clear mining all the way down to the protective wall, dearie. I guess your pal could have slipped through one of them darn uh, cracks in it. If I was you, I'd head down to Mason Station. There should be an old experiment, uh, an old equipment machine down there that'll make your life a whole lot easier. You mean the one my idiot brothers walled in last year while laying brick? Tarnation. I bet you can find a way around the brick if you scout the place. Hey now, report any opening you find to me so I can have someone patch the wall up later on. I'm pretty sure we want to keep that access to that open, not break it up completely. Uh, uh, I, I really don't like him. I'm going to need a way to get to Mason Station. There's all kinds of cracks and passes down there, believe me. My brothers have a knack for finding them and getting lost for days. Those meatbag shiners have, uh, have also been known to break, break through and wreak havoc. Oh. Level up. There's riches just waiting to be found below those layers of frickin' mortar. If you happen up uh, on some shiners, clip them before you end up in a wooden in overcoat. From what I've heard, they's usually all gowned up, gowned up, gowned up, what? Up on moon juice and looking to scrap, see? You can't get enough of that slice. It makes them stronger, but it also makes them all goofy. It's also so highly corrosive, so you probably don't want to take a dip in it. Okay, if it's corrosive enough to damage metal, then uh, not a good idea to drink that. May probably explain a few things about the moonshiners, but they don't look all well. Yeah. It's wonderful that, uh, wonderful that you found one nice artifact. I shall give you a blueprint. You know, when I was a spry young bot like yourself, I used to run all around this mine making wonderful maps. I had the entire protective wall mapped out, even long before my knees started to snap and pop. I began with the lower layers, but those unreachable, shiner, unreasonable shiners were quite a nuisance. These creatures have no respect for fine craftsmanship. Using crude explosives on such a monument? Preposterous. The wall naturally absorbs the majority of the force, but once in a while they manage to penetrate it. Hmm. Oh dear. We can probably take a look over to the right some more later, but for now... Can we break that? Yes, we can. Okay, so that gives us access to more of town. Wow, that's one neat-looking rocket. Well, since the mayor is being highly unscientific at the moment, I have to th you know, think of a contingency plan. My seismometer, uh, seismometer uh, tells me that something is very off about these quakes, you see. Our mine is dug right along a fault line. One great quake and this whole place could tumble. We are on top of a mountain here. Maybe not a full mountain, but it's high enough up that it needs an elevator. <clears throat> the protective wall at the bottom of the mine really is a wonder. There was a wall between beneath my little hometown, Tumbleton, too. Actually, it is the same wall. It is continuous and goes on for miles. It is the greatest single bot made structure in existence. If it were up here, you could see it from space. But that, <laughs> that's a big ass brick wall. All that brick laying just to keep the shiners down there. And all the shiners, or Homo devolvis, are quite crafty when it comes to specific subjects. That moon juice they have concocted to cope with life on the ground is quite special. It is highly mutagenic and, of course, addictive, but it is also an extremely effective energy source. I actually tried to burn it for rocket fuel in an earlier experiment, but it proved much too volatile. Okay, so that also explains a few things. Oh, and it's Mr. Sombrero. 
Oh, I just love being up in you know, these here polished quarters of the, you know, the city. These here hipster bots will pay anything for my genuine upgrade cards. I've been doing good business wandering around selling these, these here little gears. Usually I pick them up in yard sales or thrift stores around the countryside, but some can be found out in the wild. They make this distinct sort of clackety clackety clack grinding noise. It takes, it takes a trained ear to root them out, but if you listen carefully, you'll hear them. Now, I've got a bunch of upgrade cogs to Avalo, and I'll be happy to give you a fair price. So how about it? You can have a shiny new upgrade coin for only 25. Okay, we don't have enough. Well, alright, come back anytime you need some upgrade cogs. Okay. We should probably prioritize just getting upgrades. But if we get to a point where we'd have enough... Uh, can we jump on... Okay, those are not platforms. How are we to get up there? Uh. Okay, we'll probably get like a... An hydraulic jump or something later on. Like Rusty did. Penny. Hello again, fellow small time bots. There's a lot of complaints going around about our poor mayor. Seems to me like he knows what he's talking about. After all, he was raised in the big city. He must be used to the play pace of things here. If I was to handle matters in such a crowded place, I'd be drowned down in <laughs> like some used up gear. Um. Yeah, I don't think he is that clever. And oh, he has something to say. <laughs> yeah, for, I feel like he's too much focused on the money. Yeah. I've seen plenty of creatures down the mines, but none as fickle and dangerous as Shiners. The war was before my time, but I've had my share of skirmishes with those hay hayseeds. No use talking to them, just hit them as fast as you can. Might seem a bit brutal, but I wouldn't take any chances. It seems that these can respawn? Okay. <laughs> Is this a good thing? Right. Yeah, let's continue on. Okay. Yeah, got them before they got out. Okay. This. I think in general I'll probably have try to keep like two lines going downwards. So that if I go past something with one, I can just go I can just go down the other one and catch it there. Yeah. Only a bug here from the looks of it, but we can still get some experience from that. Yeah. <laughs> that one broke out to bring down the bigger one, or the, the bigger rock. Bye-bye. Yeah. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that's a big one. Hello! Yeah, they actually make a noise. And oh, which yeah, actually makes sense. They, they they had that little hinge that the, the cog moves. Okay. Very nice and pretty smart as well. Yeah, no. I can, can guess, uh, see us. I can actually see people missing seeing hearing them due to the music. Yeah. Okay. Open that up. There. Okay. Uh, let me go up a bit so I can make a more direct mine shaft. Hmm. 
there. I'm keeping an eye on the map to see if there is if any places that I'm missing. Oh, hello. There's something there. Does I go around this thing? Heck. Hey, your bag's already full, doofus. Thanks, I, I didn't notice. Jackass. Yeah, yeah you better get uh, to that one later. May as well go up and just empty out. Heck, you. Yeah, come on, there we go. Go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thirty-two. That should be enough for at least one upgrade. It's, okay. We can get some armor, and we don't have the cogs for that. We could mm. use a cog for the Odin eye. Yeah, but, uh, I don't plan on using these near myself, so I'll not use that unless we really need to start using those <clears throat> in dangerous situations. Okay. Uh, someone is buying fireworks. Okay. No idea why. We had a bunch of people setting off fireworks here recently, but that was because uh, football stuff and such. Uh, what? Yeah. Uh, like, I don't keep much of an ear on the whole uh, European or Euro Cup or whatever it is going on at the moment. But yeah, apparently the Netherlands made it to the semi finals. Yeah. Uh, have I heard something? I'm sure. They, but weren't, the, weren't the Netherlands under investigation the, 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 uh, for something? Yeah, that's your vision that you're thinking of, I think. Oh, yeah, your vision, but it, it might have been your vision. Nobody. Why were the investigation your vision for? Yeah, uh, supposedly making threatening gestures or something towards. An obtrusive camera person or something. Which you think if they were using a camera, then there'd be evidence of whether it happened or not. Which is, well, has people questioning you know, Spelun <laughs> Spelunky Diary, really? Yeah. Personally, I don't really care much for stuff like Eurovision and such, because in general, I think. I think the music that tends to come out of it rather sucks, or just isn't my kind of taste. But from what I've heard of the whole thing with that, it does sound, it does make me think that someone was just trying to sa purposely sabotage other countries or something. Possibly. I don't. I'm not interested in myself. I, they have sometimes had a good song or two. But, yeah, I don't care too much for it. Mm. Let's, let's grab some stuff. Going down. Cinnabar. 
Okay. It's worth more than trash him, so I'll take it. Doesn't seem like there's anything there. Oop. This is going somewhere. Hmm. Well, of course, I've managed to dig myself out of being able to get there. Okay. Hmm. I'm, I'm thinking there's. Look, it looks like there's something of interest over this way. But first, let me grab that. Okay. And anything of interest around here? Nope. And not enough space. Okay. Okay. I could probably drop the trashium. Actually, yeah, let me do that since it is only one. It's only worth one buck. Yes. Yeah, I can see us getting use of some upgrades that allow us to get some return of uh, just picking them up or throwing them out. Yeah. That also works. Hmm. Okay, so there is nothing here. It just widens out. Oh, and there's a new pneumatic tube. That's what I was looking for. So then we don't have to go all the way back. Cinnamon? Probably not. It tastes like cinnamon. Okay. Probably also not, but then again, we did find a we did find an ore that's named after chocolate. So maybe to robots it tastes like cinnamon. Oh no, yes. I'm just going to dig straight down to the tube there. I do like that it flashes when we are near it. But that can be broken. Uh, the heck, this music is good. There we go. Okay, cactus plantation. Okay. Sell all of this. Okay, I do like that we get bonuses by for levels. Because that does give a reason to go fight things. Let's see. Let's save up a really just just a bit short of the pickaxe upgrades. A Trojan sack, really? Let yourself fall head over heels in love with Achillean quality. Better flow rates per control provides a better burn. Provides great protection in dangerous environments. Okay. Alright, let's go pick up what we left behind. There. You would bring that down one. Hmm. Yeah, with the pressure bombs, I can now dig through places. Oop, ow. 
I can now dig through uh, two blocks above me, or more of three, since I can just hit the one most above. So I, I should probably keep that in mind when digging around. Oh, I forgot to say this. I think they have a new follower. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> I noticed that at the start, but I forgot. Uh, yeah, thank you for following ERNC60. I, I think that's someone I know from Tatum and such. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say earlier, but I keep getting distracted. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello! I see a gift box. Yep. Let's see. Well, why would he be a present down here? The cat is meowing. Give me a sec. I think Oscar just wants attention or something. Mow. Mow. Okay, he ran off somewhere downstairs. Okay. Bit of a comparison of, of, of Schrodinger's what? Really? Just the timing! Seriously? Uh, if there was a cat in there, I'm pretty sure we don't have to question whether it's dead or alive now. Uh, I think the cat might have been Oscar in this case. Hello. Nope. Oh. Oh. Okay, I didn't... I thought it was the background here. So we need a stronger pickaxe to break that. Oh, explosives. Okay, that's making electrical noises, so let's not stick near it. Um... Very concerning. There you go. Oh, they own surface as well. Wonderful. Honestly, only is they're edible. Okay, hidden, hidden falling blocks. Let's see. Okay, too late with that. I'm guessing this will reset. Oh. Yes. Look up. Jack. <laughs> Caution notes of well, falling no. rocks. There's a secret office the way over the door. Okay. Yeah, we can take a look at that once we're done here. Ooh. Hello. Is there a block we can drop on that? Hmm. Azurite. Okay. Mm, um, yeah, it's uh, worth 20. Oh, I thought it said 220. <laughs> no. Uh, 250, I mean. Actually, can you look in the bag how much it's worth? Yep, 20. Oh, oh yeah, it's only 20. Oh, it, it even gives a, <laughs> explanations. A bright and toxic mercury sulfide mineral, historically used as a pigment, will make you look like a vermilion box, <laughs> or vermilion dollars. The high strength and low resistance of copper combine to make an inefficient and reliable electricity conductor. Barrel. Believed to transform dreams and wishes into reality and to eliminate negative energies. A combination of as you were and you're right. Really? Come on. Well, I guess we can finally get some lore on Trashium. If we ever do find it again. Let's 
What does it say All about right. blood drops? Concentrated heliotropic anger from half-light creatures. Okay. Of light? What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, creatures that lo live in low light conditions, I'm guessing. Uh, I guess that makes sense. There. Okay, I'll need more water to get to that one. So apparently there is a limited range to it at the moment. There's something there. Oh, hello. Uh, you just got cell bonus. Hmm. Let's drop that. Got this. Uh, this is probably going to cause... Okay, I was expecting fall damage. Okay. And this should lead back to town? Yep. Can we actually take a look at those? Yes, there. Uh, Amulet of Baal Abdali Dila. D D yeah, Dila. Obviously more potent than a lucky clover or rabbit's foot. The eyes are glowing eerily and it's beginning to feel a bit warm. Is that a faint chanting emerging from its innards? Wait, is this supposed to be a reference to uh, that amulet from Fate of Atlantis? Maybe. Um, um, read the flavor text. Sha la 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 la. Really? I guess. Spelunky Diary. The Diary of Bree Ann C.G. Gearson, a deep thrilling expert who's ventured into the darkest corners of Archaea. Archaea? Wherever you say that. It mentions a shortage of brave aspirants for extending the excavations into deeper territories. Although fully illustrated with what must be finger paint, the tone of the log is somewhat melancholic and bitter. When you dig into an abyss, the abyss also digs into you. Oh, Schrodinger's what? Oh la la. Anything could be inside this neatly wrapped package. Maybe a doll, a football, or nothing but the shape and variation in the structure of uh, what's in the box. I don't think it's... But that would ruin the surprise. Either way, we can get a new blueprint. Oh, splendid. You found three fascinating artifacts already. Yeah. One blueprint. Crisscross combustion. Okay, and we get another at six. Okay, so all of that. Okay. Let's upgrade that. Okay, now where is that new one? Fate engine. Mysterious upgrades that shift the gears powering the universe. The symptom of the universe is written in your eyes. Okay. What? Breaking resource tiles creates a small burst that damages adjacent tiles. Totally crossed out. That could be useful in situations, I guess. May as well grab this. Uh, anything else that we can get? Better lamp? Hmm. Let's save up for the Trojan sack. Mm. Back to the cactus plantation. The gimmick here is going to be just these bloody cactuses everywhere. It's probably going to make it a nuisance to dig around. As well, they can easily set each other off. Like there. Yeah, do it carefully. 
is the key. Aronium. How ironic. I will blame the captain for this. Just the whole chain reaction of cacti there. Oh, make more the uh, bad puns. Yeah. Dude. Then again, I do suspect you may be related to a certain alchemist in Puss in Boots series. Okay, this one's called the Tick. Uh, or was it Tick Tock? Or not Tick Tock, but Tick Boom something? Can't stand on those. Okay. See? Okay, that was easy enough. Go. Hmm. Delicious cogs. There's water there. Looks like it is taking it a bit easy on us with not too many resources to be around to possibly miss. Yeah, yeah that does destroy the resource if it lands on it. Yeah, well. See there, but there is a cave here. Um, do we think we need something else before the cave? Like, tell the loot. There is another pneumatic tube down there, so we. Oops. There. Yes. Oh, the, this is the wall. This place looks familiar. Maybe the cold brought me here on their way up. How much deeper down are the remains of Vectron, you think? It's a long way down. We're still in the explored parts of the mine. Okay, good. I was just wondering. Now we just need to find a way through this darn wall. Ooh, explosion time. That won't do. These walls were built after the Shiner Wars to keep those crazies from coming up. Shiners are experts at blowing things up, so the walls were built to withstand blasts. Makes sense. All the way to the top. Mm. Let's see, is that enough for... No, that's not enough for... Maybe? Uh, let's grab the sack. If we can get one more, I'll probably pick this. Wait, you can buy one. Yep. <laughs> I just realized that as well, just before entering. Sure you did, Captain. Sure you did. Okay, the fist. How about it? You can. Okay, so they're going to. I'm guessing they're going to double in price each time. Don't forget to upgrade. And we only have. Yep. 
teleported in, you mean? Yeah. Okay. What would you do there. without my captain? Right. I probably could have removed the uh, da extra damage to resource blocks, but I will. Now, I'm jumping down here because I want to see if I can get into that uh, that cave on the side here. Yeah, I hope you found some treasure, but I'm damn curious as to why it's called that. Aronium. Let me see. Relatively soft in its purest form, but bring the heat and it hardens significantly. Okay. All right. Prickly panorama. Okay. Oh. Okay, I'll take it. Nothing else in and around? Nothing else. Huh. That, mm. that was easy. Is it pleasant to look at? Surprisingly easy. Okay, one more. I don't know why. I, I expected something else. One more challenge to happen there. Yeah, I, I hope expected that we needed to run. Uh, to outrun it or something. Yes. Thank you. Let's see. Oop. <laughs> okay, that oh, removed yeah. itself from the equation. Yeah, that, that, that was a bit of a cartoon movement, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Worthy of Wily Coyote. Right. Anything around here? Doesn't... Oh, there, there's something there. Don't eat it. You all know how much you love mushrooms, Captain. Out of water, but we can fill up here. Oop. I almost shot myself. Yep. And there's one of the upgrades. Yeah. Upgrade dogs. Oop. Say, what is this place? Looks murky and dangerous. Let's explore it. There really shouldn't be anything growing down here. There could be all sorts of dangers waiting for us. Yeah. I'll have to make sure I have enough light before barging in here. Ah, you're no fun. Let's go. Um... It looks uh, well lit up. Yeah. Oop. Shopping carts. Ain't yep. Nope. Okay, something that shoots out indiscriminately. I'll take that. Yep, and the bouncy mushrooms return. Tremor lights. Yep. Okay, these restore. Okay, they must be overflowing with fungus or something which rapidly regrows. Let's see. The secret love child of Dr. Dre's brother, <laughs> Dr. Dre in a mole. <laughs> really? What? Uh, they, they sure love their uh, music jokes in this game, huh? Yeah. Wait. That was a reference to music? The Dr. Dre. Rapper. Uh. It did. No, they were a rapper. Again, I don't keep track of rappers. Okay, nice that we still get experience for anything that gets killed by something else. Oop. Hello. Some more Dr. Trey. Oh, 
quite a change in music. Yeah. Oh, a new one. A new what? You will need a new metal. A pattern. Let's see. Corn Florian, very in the wild, popular among graphic artisans in the Nether Netherlands due to its beautiful bluish blush. What? Nether Netherlands. Okay, I'm, I'm screenshotting Nether that. Nether Netherlands. I'm guessing the, un uh, the underground underneath where the Netherlands would have been in this world. Then again, seeing as the... Uh, all we've seen outside has been uh, <clears throat> all we've seen outside has been desert, so it's likely that in this universe the Netherlands isn't flooded, <laughs> but yeah, a mountain now because of just everything having dried up. Well, it depends on where we are. True. Oh no! Netherlands may have sunk. Let's see. One of these again. Something in the walls. Yep. Okay, I wasn't really trying to do that, but... Now... Nope. Fifty Shades of Cliché. Oh, poor love of... Ugh... Get the feeling that there is something over there. That those bouncy orbs block the way from getting closer towards there. Oop. Yep. Okay, those those things can bounce off the mushrooms as well. Okay, now we're below the wall. Yep. This is not a drill, that's a pickaxe. Hey, that place was pretty weird. Looks like it got me beneath the first layer of the wall, at least. I hope that mining station is around here somewhere. And I hope we find something cool and destructive in there. Well, we found one of these construction uh, equipment stations in each so far. Shouldn't we head to the surface? Yeah, just going to take this thing out quick. We also get healed up every time we go up here. Hmm. There we go. Okay. Just a bit more. Of, I can't believe it's just a bag. Really. Roomy enough for everything. Hmm. I think we'll we should save up for the pickaxe pickaxe chew, delicately measured using a traditional Japanese system. Oh, poor love. I'm half surprised they didn't go with pickaxe foo. <laughs> I found the strangest passage down by the wall. It's all overgrown with weird plants. Hey, most things at that depth are strange, if you ask me. It's close to China country after all. My other good-for-nothing boys said something about stumbling into some strange overgrown cave. I just thought they'd gotten a case of that dank pressure sickness. That's for diving, not digging. Uh, wait. I think there may actually be something about pressure that uh, depends on how down you dig. Nobody else has anything to say? Okay, now let's take a look at this. A dehydrated story filled with flat, monotonous grey matter. <laughs> Why don't you like this book? Bland whispered, staring up in watery, dull eyes. Because I'm 50 shades of fed up. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, no, none to use. Okay. It, was that movie actually good or anything? Nope. Like the only real reason people went to watch it was because it had BDSM in it, or at least a claim uh, to quote unquote accurate BDSM stuff. From what I've been told, it, it, it from what I've been told, uh, the BDSM people do not like it in the absolute slightest because it misrepresents things as being about abuse, as being abusers and such. Which is what the scene is not about, supposedly. Hmm. Yeah, I've never yeah. been interested in seeing that movie, but I feel like I heard too many memes about this title. If I had more water, I could get to these, but oh well, there. I can hear the clacking of another upgrade cog, though. If you had more water, we could finally make some proper tea! Oh yeah, it's, that's the one over there. Hmm. We, we have I would need the upgrade them. to let... No, the, 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 there's one of the upgrade boxes over there. Is if I had the upgrade if I had the ability to use the pressure bomb in midair, I'd be able to get to it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the, block. I guess the blue X on the minimap is the uh, destination. Yeah. Uh, All right. Yep. Wait. There we go. Oh. Okay. I think that thing is to spawn new ones. Okay. Just get over here, you. I needed to charge over the ledge. Okay, but it only goes over like two blocks. Uh -huh. hmm. Okay, if it can see me ahead. There. Okay. Then we open up the door. And then it will open up the door for us. After we get it to charge over another ledge. There. There we go. But I just need to oil it. Okay, and that thing's there in case we kill it. Like I did initially. <laughs> initially, but... Skull. I've been seeing a lot of those in both games. Now they, they always show up in, well, basically any, uh, <clears throat> in any game where you dig. Yeah. Some iron. Oh, we can just press Y to immediately go here. Okay. Even our water gets refilled when we go up. Okay, I didn't actually notice that. Okay, seven away from another upgrade. If we press Y, we also get back, we immediately go back to where we were. Okay. Nice little quality of life feature. Oh, yeah. Yep. Bye bye.
Okay. I probably need to upgrade the pressure bombs at some point. So that they can break stronger blocks. But at the moment, this will do, I think. There. And that's actually enough to get ourselves an upgrade. So let's go get it. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if the... I wonder if the cell... I think the cell price is on the stuff that we collect or itself, not on the on the cell price in total. Yeah. Oh, should we talk, about, uh, talk to the people higher up? If they have any information. Yeah, they'd have those uh, speech bubbles if they had new things to say. We can't get the him yet, whoever the hell he is. Okay, that. Da, 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 da. Alloy steel pickaxe. This proprietary uh, carbon treatment brings that exquisite balance to your swing. Okay. Now then. Light that up. And another cave. Yep, Mason Station. Okay, one of them encased in brickwork. Hmm. Okay, are we going to get some way to destroy bricks then? We already have explosives. Do we get high explosives? This was made to be blast resistant, and the shiners are very good at blasting. So true. You will need some really heavy stuff. Speaking of heavy, there we go. Out and there go our kneecaps. Okay, are we definitely going to get some way to break those? Wait. Okay, I think I know where we're go I think we're going to get the drill. Where do you get the drill then? Oop. And uh, yep. become a dentist. Won't the bomb work there? Uh, it, it, there's crack lines in the wall, yes, but they are from above. So we need to break this. Hmm. Okay, what's the... What was the point for that? Oh, what? That's the only guest I have? There. That drops that. Oh. Because it would block the way... Okay. Not okay. really a secret. And that holds this button down so we can get through here. And we'll find another one of these things. Nom, 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 nom. It just completely superheats her. Jackhammer. Okay, that works as well. I misheard you. What did you hear? Or what did you think you heard? Soup. Er. As in soup. <laughs> so yeah, soup furry. It's as in soup uh, heat her. Yeah. Soup. There's no way. There's no bricks around. No. Wait a minute. Could you technically... Could they technically make a soup with themselves? Or... Wait, that came out wrong. A soup of what? Uh, just... 
Hello. Does he use them as a stove? Uh, Josh Yonker. Well, I was fixing and building uh, till all of a sudden I realized I'd forgotten my boot and my tools. If you can keep your trap shut about it, I'll you know, give you this here important looking paper. It'll make your adventures a bit more challenging. Only use if you like, uh, if you like uh, laughing in the face of danger. Oh, no need to tell my brothers about this, eh? Glad we see things the same way. Blood quest. Okay, the dumbass literally bricked himself in. And, okay, it is basically the drill, but different. Okay. Huh. It does make sense. How did you get stranded up there? Hmm. Let's quickly go here then. There we go. And now we can also grab all of these. Go. Why do we get the feeling the other brother will also have a uh, break themselves in somewhere? Gotta be careful with its juice though, since it uses water. Just taking a quick check around if there is more brickwork somewhere around here. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, hopefully we haven't given the uh, the enemy of all robot kinds an entrance to the upper world now. Rust monsters? No. Okay. Sell. Yeah, that's more than plenty. Oop. Say, I don't know if you've heard, but the rich professor up above has gone all nutty. She lost it after her house tumbled during one of the first earthquakes, see? Now she's building a rocket with all her sweet inherited scratch. I even heard she's in contact with a whole network of rocketeers. They're building these things all over the planet. Okay. <laughs> Have we found a flat earth society on robot world? Requires level six. Okay, another reason to go fight things. Uh, wait, wait, hold on. Why do you, what makes you say that? Well, be, there was that one guy who just kept making uh, homemade rockets to somehow disprove that the Earth was round until he got himself killed by, well, using one of his own stupid rockets. Titan's Augur. Okay. Greatly increases digging efficiency. Improved fuel efficiency means more bang for the same bucket of water. Uh, but uh, from what I saw, the character up there, they seem way too small to be a flat earther. We'll see. Seen any dang shiners yet, dearie? It's been a while since they caused trouble. I noticed they disappeared from beneath Tumbleton, my hometown too. So it's a widespread thing, huh? I haven't seen one for the, uh, for a few months at least. It became scarce right after Rusty destroyed Vectron. I'm sure I don't know much about that, but Shiners I know. They always used to find ways through the wall to cause trouble for us miners. Maybe they're worried about these quakes too, like Vermin leaving a sinking ship. <laughs> and hello in chat, Big Trucker! It's been a while since we've seen you. How are you doing? <laughs> Uh, yeah, welcome to Steam World Dig 2, a game I streamed long, long ago, but before I actually recorded streams and such, <coughs> and put them up on YouTube. Uh, okay. Oh, um, you managed to get through to, uh, to Mason Station, I see. The hammer will drive a huge punch uh, and break through even the hardest sections of brick. You'll be able to explore the other side of the wall easy peasy. 
Our hands got upgradable fuel supply and everything. A stronger pneumatic cylinder would allow for increased maximum operating speed. I mean, it's got a lot of potential, is all. This guy is pretty smart, but he's very shy. Yeah. And looks like the trucker is tired. Uh, he, they are not alone. I'm a bit tired as well. It's so we can learn. I made it below the wall and found Mason's station, but no sign of Rusty yet. Hey now, why would any sing bot want to dig that deep? You don't want to enter China country, uh, country do you, now do you? The jackhammer will smash through them bricks and take you down there in no time at all. Watch your water level though, that tool will gulp, that, uh, gulp it down like a sailor bot in the desert. Hey, just don't lead any of those insane signers up here. That'd be the last thing I'd need. Next checkpoint. That's a trucker. Ah, I've been considering this game for a while. Good to see some play. Yeah, it, it is a it's a good game. I would yeah. highly recommend it. Plus I I think it's pretty sell bonus. I think it's discounts for pretty cheap these days. The yeah. object is unlocked. Yep, nice. now, now we're level six. Now we can get that. Uh, now we can get. Now we can get the new pickaxe upgrade if we could afford it. See, there's more stuff hidden around here. Because the cave isn't marked as complete on the minimap. Or oh. on the map in general. So there is something hidden around here. Let's have a quick look around. Must be a bit of brickwork somewhere that blocks the way. Oh, I must... I guess I know why I'm tired. Yesterday I woke up 30 minutes than I usually do, but today I woke up like 30 minutes too early instead. I don't it's... know why. Hmm. I must have missed something in the wall somewhere. It's a trucker is trying to wake up. Okay. Oh, that's easy. Hmm. There's probably a hidden area somewhere. I think we, uh, I think if we have a truck to wake up, we'll probably be, uh, let's see... Uh, yeah, I think we could put some hunky badgers in the truck. Good. That should make them wide awake. Ow. Okay, they have it blocks the way, but we can blast our way through here. Yeah, it seems that the the jackhammer doesn't. Okay, that must is that what I missed? Can I even? Yes, I can. Okay, and sort of water. Okay, I didn't think we'd actually be able to climb this thing. It didn't make sense. There we go. As right. It considered it is considered complete now. Still not. Okay. Hmm. And there must be a hidden a secret area behind the walls or something. And then you say that I keep thinking of a certain meme. And that's the timer, so yeah, we should head up to the surface. And call it the stream there. Yep. And I'm falling asleep in as almost. As it, the game is not boring. I just tie it for some reason. Okay. Okay. One big rock to sell. Hmm. Actually, 
I should keep an eye on how much we actually get from that. Maybe the sell bonus is on the total price. Hi. Ah, uh, I mean, hello. Um, I got a new shipment of parts. It will let you upgrade pretty much all of your tools. I mean, upgrade them even more. Neat, huh? Uh, let's... Add... Mm. Yeah, let's let's try to save up mostly for the pickaxes. Anything we can get with this? Get you a cast price for taking out enemies with the pickaxe. We could probably get that. Oh, uh, upgrades to jackhammer's wind-up speeds. With synthetic lubricants, jacked up and ready to roll. And here's that blood quest. Gain bounty at the price of blood. Doubles the chance to get bloodstones when enemies die, but also increases the damage they do to you. Okay. Oh. Double-edged sword indeed. Let's get this instead. And let's see. A portal of pardon. Teleport back. Yeah, but we don't have that. We self-destruct in case you get yourself stuck. Okay. Uh, Penny has something to say, but let me quickly transition. Okay, saving game. There we go. Okay. Okay, it had a no. It had a timer until the last time you saved that goes in minutes and seconds. Okay. And uh, yeah, that'll be Steam World Dig Two for today. <clears throat> All right, uh, we'll pick this up again on Thursday, and maybe there will be a multiplayer stream tomorrow if everyone is available. Otherwise, it'll just be probably a rest day, or maybe uh, Watch Dogs with Rom. Though he has said that he wants to try Spec Ops the Line co-op missions. I actually completely forgot that <laughs> Spec Ops the Line has co-op. <clears throat> Well, yeah, we'll see about that. Also, just just look at how smooth the movement in Dorothy's eyes is in that. Yes, but uh, that is damn good. <laughs> but yeah, for now, let's go look for someone to raid. So there. Nope, that's immediately. Yep. I I think I will need to look at what would be better for streaming to go with game captures or full screen uh, full screen display capture because for the m many games it seems to act a lot more like a yeah just like game capture just with uh, <laughs> with an extra step or something or did uh, i forget to force this game into borderless windows yeah <clears throat> uh i don't know who we could raid <laughs> trucker's fridge I was to say truck is truck, but uh, the bridge, uh, bridge, bridge sounds good. Yeah, okay. Do they even have a bridge? Still... Why would they even read a bridge? There's Twitch. Let's see. Uh, we have Dugged Douglas McDog who is playing Nightmare of the Cave. Can't say I know of that game. In the horror. Let's take a peek. Uh, Okay, they're in their free stream, it seems. Uh, next up, we have Side of the Lish with Metroid Prime Remastered. KT is playing Horizon uh, Horizon Forbidden West. I still need to play Forbidden Dawn, but I, I really want to stream that. There's so many freaking good games that I want to stream in just so little time, huh? <clears throat> yeah, get what you mean. <laughs> you know, I, I would probably put that one on Saturday because, well... It's an open world game, so it would take quite a while to get progress in it. Or rather, it would be a bit of a waste to only play that for two or three hours. Four would be a lot better, I think. Yeah. Uh, Cover Dust is playing Apex Legends. Black Shadow is playing Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Is that original or new? That's original, okay. I'm a Flanker is playing Age of Empires 2. Grem the Wolf is playing Elden Ring. Cut Shady Tail is having an R stream. And last but not least, we have Halloween playing House in all caps. 
a 2D horror game about saving your... The rest is off bit. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Wait, is this what I think it is? I may have seen... Oh yeah, I've seen this game before. Yeah, I've yeah, seen a little bit of this as well. Yeah, it's basically like... I uh, wouldn't call it a roguelite, but it has a ton of different endings based on different things you do. And to get the best ending, you need to do certain things in a certain amount of time. Uh, yeah. yeah, I feel like I've seen Captain Source and Mr. Falcon play this. Hmm. <clears throat> a bit of a yeah. showcase, though, more of. Yeah. Anyways, any of those then uh, you'd you'd want to go raid, or shall I take a pick? I will let you take a pick, for I'm way too sleepy. Okay, let's go say hi to Cider then. Okay. I do want to stream at least some of the Metroid Prime games as well at some point. At the very huh. least, three. It, and Cider got a 3D model now. Yep. Uh, Hmm. I may, I, I'm tempted to stream Metroid Prime 1 Remastered as well. And I'm assuming they'll make Metroid Prime 2 Remastered at some point, but there is an infamous part of Metroid Prime 2 that I'm not too sure about if I really want to play through it, because it's supposed to be really freaking hard. So oh. we'll see about that. Anyways, let's copy the name. Head to our place. Slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone's watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Trucker. And I'm not seeing any other accounts with names, at least, or at least as far as the chatty program is showing me. <clears throat> and Trucker yeah. something. Hmm? Uh, Trucker, see, Trucker has picked something. Ah, uh, Trucker is on summer break this week. Okay. <laughs> nice. Well, hopefully, hopefully you'll be able to join for some other streams then. <clears throat> Though on the weekends I we tend to stream a lot earlier, so I'm not sure if you'd be able to attend those. Uh, but yeah, still nice to hear that you have some vacation time. You probably really need it because trucking is well <laughs> a hard job. Oh yeah, it is. Hmm. Many people underestimate how hard it is. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend, and thank you all for watching, and hello, pillow. <laughs> and, yeah, tomorrow, maybe multiplayer. Definitely we'll be continuing with this game on Thursday, though, and we have our usual weekend shenaniganery with uh, <clears throat> Blast Brigade and hopefully Minecraft, where the server behaves and doesn't roll itself back. Let's see, Trucker, a lot of hours. Yeah, you have to, <laughs> you have to go from all over the damn place. And you hmm. should alone, he said, I have heard it can get to a person with the loneliness. Yeah, I'm not sure if they are actually allowed pets in the truck, and even then, well, maybe not the best idea to have some <laughs> to need like a, <clears throat> a litter box or something in your truck, because that would start to stink real fast. I've, I'm gonna guess that may depend on the company. Yeah. <clears throat> And how many air refresheners you can bang up into place. But yeah, enough about that. Uh, let's get that raid started. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. Sleep well. And watch for, out for undead seagulls. And shiner seagulls. Though I don't think you'll find any of those on the ground. Thank you for that mental image.